But we're going to start with one that might take you a bit more by surprise. Who is this? I don't Mario. With my brothers, we always did uh, penalty World Cups in the garden. And I always wanted to be Brazil. Like, I wish I was Brazilian when I was younger. And so Romario was my example, and that's also why I have number 11. I really like it, yeah. This was uh, when I played for Western New York Flash. It was a, a brief visit there, but a very good one because we won the league. It was check off the bucket list. The fitness is, is crazy there. It, I think it's a very um, physical league. Uh, you really have players that I think of Lynn Williams pops into my head now. She was in my team, and we had to do 200 meters, but it's like, running next to your track and field athlete because she's just impressive. Lyon. Which is probably the defining time in your career. Yeah, an honor to, to get called by Lyon that they're interested and I, I thought this is a real challenge to, to pick up and also motivated to go and win trophies with them. It also got you winning things. It was a win-win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was the, the first Champions League trophy during COVID, but um, it was still a very special one because it's a dream, I think, to win Champions League. It was an amazing moment. I was very close with Lisa Weiss, German goalkeeper, and then Izzy Christiansen as well, and then Alex Greenwood. Yeah. She, was, she was my buddy as well, yeah. And so now you play them every week. Exactly. <laughs> and a first Champions League, they say it can't be bettered, but you went and did it again. That was a, a final against Barcelona. Yeah, it was better. But that was better? <laughs> yeah. So why was I it must better? say it was better because it was in front of people now mm -hmm. and it was a lot of people from Barcelona. <laughs> so it's even sweeter than when you win. And I think it was just because there was so much pressure on this game that they were saying, yeah, Barcelona is for sure the favorite. We just went out in this game and, and showed how it was done, so it was very satisfying and cool to, to win this Champions League. A photo from 2014. And we did spot Jana Daniels as well, who's at Liverpool in there. We were called the Drushes. <laughs> the Drushes? Yeah. Is that to do with the redheads? No. There's quite a few redheads, aren't there? I think it's the filter on it. <laughs> There's one real redhead. <laughs> But no, yeah, we, we were a fun uh, little group in national team. Yeah, we had some good times with Jana especially as well. When I'm speaking to an attacking player, I also like the goal celebration ones. That was a really important goal. Yes, I think this was in the Euros mm. 2017, yeah, when we beat Norway. Do you remember it well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The actual finish in slow motion. Yeah, it was a header. <laughs> and I think I screamed very loud, like, leave it or something before it. I sometimes talk to Ada about this game still because she was the Norwegian side and she doesn't like this game. But for me, it was the best game in my life. <laughs> Let's talk about you joining Leicester City. And how easy was that decision to come here? Because it's a different league, different challenge. I always had an eye on, on, on England and being in contact with Izzy and Alex. It's a very competitive league and I think it was the perfect timing now um, this summer to, to make the step to England. And I think, yeah, Leicester is a perfect project to, to be part of. Have you got a leadership role here as well? Uh, certainly the influence, the success that you've had, they will want you to bring it to the dressing room. Yeah, I think so. I, I spoke with Willie about this as well, and I think it's important to bring my experience to the team. I'm unfortunately the oldest one, but um, no, I think it's important to help where I can with the girls, sometimes maybe give another perspective on things. How about the surfing? Oh, yeah. And, is, and is that okay to do in the off-season? I think it's all right. I think it's a good um, upper body workout. Um, this was actually in Montpellier, where um, I ha actually have my surfboard here in Leicester. I don't think I'll use it. <laughs> I had to bring There's it along. Some <laughs> yeah. um, but no, I, I love to surf. This will also be something for, for more the summer time. Yeah. I think you've got to go on a weekend trip with the girls to Cornwall. Yeah, I think there, some of them want to do it soon, but then we have international break. But um, no, it would be, be nice to do this one time. I feel like the lights are telling us this is yes, over. Yes, exactly. It's lights <laughs> off. Lights off. Done. Interview <laughs> over. Those are your pictures. Thank you for sharing you your much. career with Thank us. Thank you.